up house hunters i'm chase hunter with house hunter investments look i know i know i know it has been a long time and you've been asking for an update on the second um detroit land bank rehab right so it's been two years later a little over two years so 26 months exactly all right and here we are i'm sitting in it as you can see progress is finally being made so i had to stop um progress because i was having so many issues and i think i told you guys before if not i was having a lot of issues like the city is just not as um robust and they don't move as fast and the records and organization and data keeping is just not up to par okay so i had some issues as of others if you watch other videos with um other people that have bought land bank properties may have the same issue with the water right with the water connection so the first property the water line was connected didn't have any problems didn't have to go through the hassle of going through the whole digging and reconnecting and all of that that process literally slowed us up for 10 and a half months okay it was a very long tedious process we had to call multiple times we had to um, pull multiple permits because the same standards when i bought two years ago things were changing right so the standards are different the requirements are different so we had to go by the new requirements right and it was very long and it's very tedious so i, ha I do have some friends that are going through the same process and it has been a nightmare so for all of you that are really getting into um, getting into the land bank properties and buying these um, properties, I suggest, and if you're an out of state investor, okay, I suggest you either A, hire a project manager <laughs> that knows the system and knows how to get through this and knows how to navigate it, or B, like do all of your due diligence and all of your research first before you do all of this because it can be very time consuming very costly if you make one wrong move okay so it's it's more than a notion okay so i think to be prepared and to make sure that you have all of those things in order so um the plans that are originally have for this property was to put because it's a two-family flat um, I plan to put tenants in it at first and then when the business my business model changed and um, what I wanted to do with the business and where I wanted to take the business also changed so I was like man I can you know make more of a profit and make more money because you with this place being my actual office then renting it out so the math started mathing for me when I started looking at it that way. So um, for out-of-state investors that need a virtual address, that need co-working space, that needs property management, project management, um, buying other properties outside of the land bank, guess what? We do that now, right? So this all of this um, has been coming together in order to make that happen for the investor. So we, it's buy an investor for investors, right? So I created this whole program and this whole formula and this whole investment firm so that I can pretty much give the investor everything that I didn't have, right? And being here now <laughs> full time and it's, it's just, I don't know, it's just, it's been great, right? It's been, um, it's been a journey. It's been a finally, finally, you know, going through multiple crews and finally have a good crew after trying and testing and going through and giving people small projects to see if they can, um, can actually do the work that they say they can do. Um, they can perform to the standards that I need them to perform at. They can be vetted the way that I need them to be vetted. They can fill out the proper paperwork. Their businesses are registered and things like that. So um, 
all of those things matter all of those things matter in the end especially when you are spending your hard-earned money <laughs> right on these land bank properties the reward in the end is that you have a deed you own it free and clear and um it's a beautiful thing but just remember there are some challenges there will be challenges there will be some rough days there'll be some days you just want to say why did i do this this is stupid this is dumb because i've had those right but stay the course keep going okay another thing that i've been doing and why i've been missing in action a little bit is because i've been doing tours yes i've been doing uh, real estate tours here in detroit bringing investors all over the country to help them understand the culture of Detroit and to invest in Detroit. I've been doing VIP days all over the country, right? So helping investors become better, better investors right where they are in their own backyard, right? And um, what else have I been doing? Mentorships, okay? Been doing mentorships. Um, we're wrapping up the beginner mentorship. We have some mentees that are coming out. They're actually purchasing properties now. Super excited about that. Um, sat down with them in detail to go over their plans and to talk about um, how to invest, where to invest, and how to make the mentorship, all of that come together. Um, we got the advanced mentorship um coming up and starting in september super super excited about that only have space for 10 because 10 is the magic number um and working with people to make sure that you reach your goals right and it's all about making you understand um the the small little nuances of being an investor right is it no matter where you want to invest at and understanding all of the details from funding to um, credit to building your portfolio to maximizing the potential in the um, properties that you buy all of those things matter and I teach all of those things in e either the beginner mentorship or the advanced mentorship right so make sure if you want to get into a mentorship and you want to see where this thing goes tap in with me and make sure you get connected the link will be down in the description so that you can get connected another thing that i've been doing is wow just been just been gearing up for just the just work you know i still got tenants um, still maintaining properties, doing that at the same time, still doing property inspections. Um, I have clients that I've been out looking for properties for, um, seeing if everything is good, if it's a purchable, uh, if it's purchable, purchasable. <laughs> something like that right if it's if it's in a good neighborhood and if it's a good um a good buy and uh, so that they are making the informed and right decisions right because we want to buy right the first time right we want to make sure that you have um all the informed because it could be a pretty house in a bad neighborhood and we kind of don't want that right we want a good neighborhood and an ugly house right and we can do something with that so um yeah just just doing all the things all the things to make our investors better so it's pretty much all i have right now i'll show you the property at park grove and what's going on so you want to see that all right let's go all right so here is where we are Got the door boarded up. This is the first floor office. First floor. Coming back out because I don't want to step over the sign. Down that way is a basement. This is going to be the downstairs cafe area. Going back out, no room again. This is the bathroom. This is going to be a co-working space here. 
taking out um, these walls here to open it up, make it an open concept. And this is also going to be a co-working space as well. This is going to be storage area. Okay. Headed to the second floor. It looks like a lot of work, but it's not. <laughs> it is, but it's not. So going into the second floor, this is going to, going to be our conference room. This area is gonna, so the, as you can see, the second floor has been, it's more done up here than um, anywhere else. This is gonna be the kitchen for up here. Um, bathroom for up here. This is going to be a private office. We're closing that door off. That was a door. This over here is going to also be a private office. And so downstairs is a more open concept. Up here is a little bit more private if you want more privacy. So if you wanna rent conference room area, that will be here. If you want to rent a private office, have that that we're keeping this separate and these will be storage areas for here like a cubby storage area there same on this side cubby storage area there so everyone that is the update of the second um land bank property yeah so this is where we are so we have a probably about another month or so to go before we are done with everything and then we are hoping to have offices open by october 1st right so um, if you need a virtual address, if you need those type of services, co-working space, you don't want to, you know, you're a little lost and you want to, you know, have people that's gonna, I don't know, make you feel like family. We will definitely do it here. So hit it up, um, hit me up for more information.